We're making chicken scarpaello. You're gonna break this down so anybody could do this, yeah? So we got a whole chicken broken down. Uh, we left the drumsticks and the wings in. Uh, everything else is boneless. Um, if you're doing this at home, the fastest way to do it, the way that I do it, because I don't have a lot of time at home mm -hmm. either, is buy your favorite Italian salad dressing. Dump it in there. Dump it in there. Minimum of two hours, but you're good overnight. Great. Um, we make the dressing at the restaurant. So just a quick, so this is garlic, uh, garlic puree. So this is just whole heads of garlic. Right. Roasted in the oven, crushed their guts. We put it in everything. Yeah. A um, little bit of red wine vinegar. A little water. Simple recipe. Great marinade. Even if you're just grilling the chicken, you don't have to be making this recipe. Um, it's a great way to unboring your chicken. That's right. And roasted garlic paste, you can literally put into everything and anything, and it's great just slathered on bread. And then you need a little, you know, dried oregano, a little chili flake, sugar and salt. A little sugar and salt. And you got Italian salt. Classic. Dressing. Right? Done. Basically everything that's in here, but you probably already own it in your pantry, so just whip it up, right? Yep, exactly. Done. Um, so here you got the beginning of the recipe. It's kind of a hybrid roast braise. Right. The way that we do it at the restaurant is, you know, we sort of take it out of the oven and we finish it in the sauce the last, you know, couple of minutes. Three, right? five, three to five minutes. So you've got your seared chicken. We flipped it uh, on, the, on its uh, bone side. And then we're going to take more garlic. Uh, so this is a garlic confit. So this is a, you just throw a bunch of cloves of garlic in a roboku, pulse it cover it in olive oil, and then bake it in the oven super, and leave super it in the slow. Oven. Yeah, I do that and too. again, just, the just, just let it get sweet. Um, so we're gonna top the chicken with a little, little bit of rub, of some garlic confit. And then mm -hmm. we make our own dried herbs at the restaurant. I think it's a step that's worth doing. And also when you buy herbs, you generally are buying more than you need. And I was gonna say, by the end of the week, they're starting to go a little south if anyway. If they're in right? your fridge, they're going black and they're no good. <laughs> right. But if you take them, as soon as you're done using it and you have extra rosemary or thyme, um, really anything, lay them out on a sheet tray, put them in the oven, in the which oven is like a pilot light, right. and leave it overnight and you'll preserve it instead of throwing it away. Garlic confit, your dried right. herbs, and you go into the oven. And they go to the oven. So next step is your sauce. Key ingredients of a traditional scarpaiello is you need sausage, you need peppers, you need tomato, and your chicken. Right. If you have all those things, you qualify. That's right. So it's basically how you build your sauce. Um, in the pan here, you've got shallots and um, some shiitake mushrooms. You can use any mushroom you want. So you're, you know, you're sort of softening this, getting it all going. You've already browned your sausage in the same pan. Oh, look over there. And pulled it out. <laughs> this is actually kotakino. I love kotakino. So throw your sausage back in the pan mm. after you've rendered it because you wanted all that, that pork fat for your mushrooms. And then you start adding your peppers. Piquillos we have here. These are roasted Anaheims. Throw those guys in there. Your peppers of choice. Peppers of choice. I've got a little caramelized onion here. We have it you know, in the restaurant to throw in everything. Um, if you don't want to go through the whole process of caramelizing the onions, you could just throw some sliced onions on the bottom of your chicken while it's roasting. And it'll caramelize. And, and it'll kind of caramelize, and you can get those in there. A splash of pickled per cherry pepper juice. Cherry, hot cherry pepper juice is one of Me those too. secret ingredients it. that yeah. I put in everything. Uh, Deglaze with a little bit of sherry. Throw your pepper juice in there. A little splash of pepper juice. It needs acid. You know, you've got, you've got a very rich dish here. You have to be able to cut through that a little bit. You have to be yeah. able to cut through all that. Tomato. Tomato product. Uh, you could have you could have thrown a little paste in paste there in the beginning. Stock, doesn't matter. There's no wrong way of doing this at this point. You're you making a you're making right. a sausage and pepper stew. It's going to be great no matter what. There you go. Bring me the sauce. Bring it down here. Yep. Throw it here. There you go, darling. Oh my God, that smells so good. Yep. I tell people all the time, we've got all of this great high def TV. What we really need is smell of vision. <laughs> Ooh, look at that.